All right, so this is for the United States Air Force. Uh, give me your name and rank and where you went to tech school at. My name is Erin Gray. I went to tech school at Shepard Air Force Base and Davis Monson Air Force Base. Okay, so you went to two different tech schools. Yes. And why is that? Uh, Shepard was cold training or did fundamentals of aircraft maintenance and um, then I went more specifically to my aircraft at Davis Monson. And your job is tactical aircraft maintenance. Yes. So there are different places you can go to learn the specific plane, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, and where are you going to be stationed at next? I'm going to be stationed at Osan, Korea. Are you pretty excited about that? Yes. I seems wanted like, to go overseas. Yeah, it seems like a pretty cool base. Uh, okay, so how was your experience coming into the Air Force in general? It was smooth, I guess. Okay. Uh, as far as like when it came time to pick jobs and things like that, did you have pretty good help? Yes, you were very helpful. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I got third on my list, which was good. Which is great. And you had an excellent list, which is great. Um, are you pretty, you're pretty excited about your job, obviously. Um, I know you did want to work with your hands. You want to do something pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Have you already had some good experiences so far as far as like working on the planes or places that you've been? Yes, it took a while to get there. Got Shepard. We didn't really get to do as much hands-on, but once I got to Davis Monson, that was all we did. So you worked more specifically on the A-10s. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the A-10s? They're badass. <laughs> all right. Uh, and then uh, what made you want to pick the jobs that you actually put down? Um... I wanted to be in the mechanical field because there weren't very many female airmen in the mechanical field and I wanted to be set apart from anyone else. Very nice. Okay. Um, tactical aircraft maintenance is definitely something specific. So obviously you worked pretty hard to get where you, how was tech school? Did you actually have to work extremely hard or was it just kind of like make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, homework and things like that? It was mostly just make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you had to study a little bit but not nearly as much as they said you did. Okay, so did you guys have a lot of homework every single night? They uh, tell you that you should do two hours of studying every night. And how much did you do? About 30 minutes. Okay, and you didn't have any problems in tech school? Mm -hmm. uh, did you guys do study groups as well, or did you do everything by yourself? Um, there were study groups, like we, you could get together with your class, but you didn't have to, it wasn't mandatory. And then if you failed the block test, then you had to do a mandatory study group. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so as far as your experience so far in the Air Force, you've already got to go to what two different states. Uh, obviously, you went to basic training in Lackland Air Force Base, then you went up north to uh, Shepard Air Force Base in Texas, and then you got to go to Arizona. Now you're going to Korea, and you've been in what? When did you come in? January fifteenth. So you've been in for a total of about nine months, and already been to three different states and going to a different country. That's pretty cool. Are you pretty excited about the rest of your career so far? Yes, I think okay. there will be a lot more traveling. I hope there will be more. Okay. Um, if there is any advice that you could give people from the beginning of the process to where you are right now, is there, what would you like to say to people? Just do what you're asked to do. Okay. Just follow the rules. Uh, as far as asking questions and stuff, before you go to basic training, um, do you think asking questions is a great idea or just kind of go along with the flow asking questions asking you questions yes i think it's good to ask questions but don't necessarily like it's good to ask questions but it will, the outcome will probably be different than what you think like everything you said was true but it was also slightly different how do you mean like you said not to volunteer for anything but that also got got you better things if you didn't okay. like undergrad or which I understand and do you understand the reason I said not to volunteer for anything yes because you don't want to make yourself more obvious just stick out a little bit you can absolutely volunteer for stuff in basic training the only reason I give that a little bit of advice is to uh, kind of keep yourself a little bit low key to make basic training a little bit easier um, how hard was basic training for you though basic training was pretty easy just very um, exhausting and you don't get that much sleep but other than that you just do what you're told and you don't get yelled at. Okay uh, and tech school how hard was that overall? The classes were pretty easy just as long as you put a little time into studying and paid attention in class. Okay um, and then as far as 
uh, as far as tech school goes, how much time off did you have? Like, kind of give me a, a week of tech school, how it goes. Um, you had to get up pretty early in the morning for super flight. Um, then you'd go to class around 7, and you'd get out around 3 or 4, and then you have the rest of the day for yourself. Okay, and the weekends? And the weekends you have off. All right, so basically like going to college. Unless you fail a block test, then you have mandatory study on Saturdays. Okay. Uh, but if you do fail a block test, they actually do a lot of different ways to help you make sure you pass. Yes. Right. And you have more than one chance to pass so you don't just fail. Yeah. They give you the option to um, go back to an old class or a new class or to retake the test. Okay. And obviously if you're retaking the test, then they help you study and all that good stuff. All right. Great. Um, all right. Well, thanks for your help. And uh, hopefully if people come in tactical aircraft maintenance, they can make, maybe look you up in the future and uh, you can give them some good advice.